Hello everyone and welcome back to another Benina Line video by Rivet Games. Well, the Benina Line by Rivet Games, not a video by Rivet Games. Um, we're at Poshiavo. Poshiavo sort of the midpoint of the route, ish. Not really. Uh, I think time-wise, it's sort of sort of the midpoint. <coughs> um, but yeah, we're going to be taking the uh, Benina Express uh, for a journey down to Turano. That's was the Italian job, making our way down into Italy, and we're doing it in the snow. Uh, which is sort of, I suppose, what you picture this route to be, just snowy. Uh, so we'll try and nick the train before it drives off without us. Right, let's get in. Uh, there we are, climb up. Right, my train now. There we go. Um, so this one's actually only come down from Alpgrim. And what have we got on the back? Oh, we got the... Oh, that's nice. We've got the um, observation coach and, well, some more passenger coaches. Uh, which come with the Rosa Line anniversary pack. So there's a slight catch to it. Um, let's get the train set up if it's not already. Well, it looks to be it is. <clears throat> so that is what we want. Um, yeah, that looks fine already. We'll get the systems on. Um, and passenger lights as well. We'll make sure they're, they're on as well. <clears throat> to control enter. No, that one. Cool. So we got 20 seconds, and then we can begin our, I suppose, southbound journey into Italy. <clears throat> well, for the really small stretch into Italy, but Torano. So technically, the first route in the game which goes into Italy. And we've got very uh, lovely weather as well. So we're going to be calling out La Presse and Torano. So we've only got two stops. Um, right. Are we waiting for another train? Or is it objective controlled? I reckon it is objective controlled. So let's get the door shut. Because that looks... Well, there's like a red, but then there's a yellow there. Okay, now it's green. Now, now it's all green. Um, let's get going. We're off. We begin our journey. There we are, let's get that up. Up to uh, 30. So relatively uh, quick. 3.3 kilometers to the press passing loop, so that's not that far away. So I wonder if this is going to be a sort of far stretch of the route. In fact, it is. There we go, about 50 odd kilometers an hour. So yeah, this must be sort of the quick bit then. Quick, but the longer bit. Okay, it should be quite a nice journey then. And we get the um, spiral loop on here as well. Or spiral viaduct, bridge, ramp, whatever you want to call it. And big thanks to Dovetail for giving us a key to show off this DLC. So sort of, I suppose this is almost, almost in a way our first look as well, because this, we haven't seen this part of the route. Um, yeah, <clears throat> we've only done the bit from Poshiavo to Aspicio Benina. Well, this is quite nice. I mean, if it's going to be this quick most of the way, feels a little bit uncomfortable at this speed, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> we're on the way. With our sort of uh, six, well, we've got the. It's a bit weird the Allegro because yeah, it's a, an, a a multiple unit, but then we're then dragging other coaches along at the back. And we use the uh, dynamic brake. We are going down. Oh my god, look at that. What gradient's that? Is that a 1 in 17 or 1 in 14? 1 in 14. I mean, that's literally like going off the face of the earth. Wow. Just a bit steep. A little bit of road running. I think it is a bit of road running, yeah. Onto the roads. Well, I think this is. Is this the road? No. Can't be. Oh, there it goes up there. Oh, no, no, hang on, no, it is the road, yeah. <coughs> Lovely. Sorry, everybody, train coming through. But we are. No, we're not stopping here. I don't know what this stop is, but we're not stopping here. What one's this one? This one is. Hopefully, the audio is alright. This one is Likert. And then back up to 60. 
<clears throat> so yeah, it, it's quite quick. As opposed to the, you know, slower bit which we did before, which may be the more scenic bit. Um, I mean, this is still lovely though. Oh, hang on, oh, now 60. There you go, now we can get away. Jump the gun a little bit there. So it's not as, not, well, not as steep, well, it's still steep, but not as steep some of these bits. Seems to be the odds. I suppose we're just following sort of the valley down now. Instead of sort of going up the side of the mountain, we're just sort of following it down. So I'd imagine we'll be going down the um, spiral viaduct. Uh, 45. We'll have to try and do the route like this at some point. I don't think they're really, I think they're fairly straightforward these uh, Swiss routes because it just tells you all of the speed changes in advance and it's not that fast anyway so there's not many many stations especially if you're on the express <coughs> so following the road along at the moment or some sort of road so look we've got a 35 coming up I think what well, doesn't look like we do but We've got a 40, then a 60, then a 30. Oh, that's a ZS going off yet. Have some of that. Yeah. Don't worry, ZS. I know what we're doing here, clearly. As we come into La Presse. What does that mean? We're going down to 55. Pretty sure, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it does. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> So as we'll find out shortly. So maybe there'll be another train here we've got to wait for. I was on that last journey because we didn't pass any any other train. Although it was quite early in the morning. Yes. Do we need to have both pantographs up? No, we've got both of them up. I don't know, we should have just one up. Seems a little bit ex excessive to have uh, both up. Right, so we've got to stop here. I'm guessing this is to allow another train through. If not, then I don't know, we'll just wait in here. Must be another train we're waiting for. Gotta be. Hasn't gone, hasn't gone green yet, so I think we are. And we're doing there at 12:22, which is a little bit disconcerting. Let's have a look. Uh, well, I think the answer to that question would be we are waiting for another train, which must still be another 10 minutes away. Now I don't really want you guys to be waiting 10 minutes, as that's not going to be very exciting. Um. So, in that case, I suppose we'll have a little look, I suppose, round, see what's going on. So the station's like just here, like li just here, but we can't go in because we've got to wait for the other train. If only there was a passing loop at the station, so we've got a bit of road running as well. Yeah, this is the station here, so you've got to wait outside for 10 minutes before you can go in. That's a bit annoying. Not the border point, is it? No. Um, well, yeah. I suppose I'll see you all again in a few minutes' time. Because I don't really want to be waiting around too long. See you all in a minute. Right, we're back. And the train is finally coming. It actually felt quite quick. I've just literally been sat here watching the screen. And sort of had a little walk around the train. And a little hello to the passengers. Um, uh, but yeah, here it comes. And what's it got on the back? Or is that the login one? That might have actually been the one we'd know. Did we know? No, we didn't know. That's got the logs on the back, or empty logs. Does it actually ever get loaded? And we should. Oh. There's no aspect. What does no aspect mean? We're all good. Okay, there's no aspect on the signal, which is a little bit concerning. Let's just contact the signaler. Just gotta check the map. Yeah, okay. Maybe when there's no aspect, it. No, that can't be right, can it? Maybe it is. Well, uh, let's get going again.
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save it. Surely there should be an aspect on the signal, though. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Anyway, off we go as we go on to a Laplace. So it's actually, it's not that far to Toronto. Well, it doesn't seem that far. Um, that way is basically one of the main parts of the journey. We wait there for about 10 minutes. Uh, from La Presse to Toronto, it's, yeah, 30, 28 minutes. So it's not that far. And I assume it's probably fairly quick as well. So, so far, it's been quite nice this southern part of the journey. We've not gone very far. We've stopped for 10 minutes, and it seems to be quite quick. Five hundred meters. We've got a bit of road running here as well. Seems to be quite prominent on the on this route. It's cool though. And also some sort of lake coming up, which might be frozen. I know the lakes are meant to be frozen in the uh, winter months. I think the one up Benin that's meant to be frozen. I don't know about the other ones. That's cool. And then here we are, coming into a La Presse. After waiting outside for 10 minutes. It'd be quite annoying if you actually wanted to get off it and you were in a rush and you had to wait there for 10 minutes outside. But like, come on, move, move. And there we are. La Presse. Little town. I feel like I might have actually driven here before because we did um, <clears throat> once do this route on Train Sim Classic. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if we did take it as far as La Presse. Possibly. Possibly. <clears throat> so we've not got very long here and then we'll be off again. Oh, zombie like throat again. <clears throat> zombie like voice. Hmm. Seems like something actually on. We did turn them on. <clears throat> we'll have a look again. Maybe we click, it'll click off. And then on. Maybe they're just quite dim. Possibly. Right, let's get the door shut. No sort of alarm to close. Okay. Uh, and 11 kilometres to Rano. Let's do that. And let's go. So our next station stop is in Italy. <coughs> let's do it. Let's move. Up to 30, then quite soon up to 35, and then 45. So yeah, relatively quick. <coughs> now is that lake frozen? No, that, that one's not. <coughs> so it must just be the one up at Benina which gets frozen. Maybe it's that's higher up, so colder. Maybe this one doesn't. I mean, maybe it does in real life, but maybe not in the game. <coughs> right, let's get that up to uh, 35. Yeah, 35, let's get that up. to 45 quite so and this bit's quite nice along alongside the lake <coughs> why is that going off that's the vigilance so we're actually going uphill at the moment a one in three 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 so nothing extreme but still going uphill <coughs> although i do think for the majority of this journey we do go downhill it's probably just as we're sort of uh, yeah, going along the lake, we can't really go down, can we? If not, we'll end up in the lake. This is really nice along this bit, though. Look at that. Sort of winding our way alongside the lake. <coughs> and up to 45. 
So again, quite quick. I'd imagine, yeah, we'll probably swing our way through that little um, gap in the valley there. Up to 45. Just wait for the back of the train to pass it. Should be quite soon. And there we go, let's get that up. Up to 45. <coughs> cool. Let's get a little flyby shot. Now we're going to you know, relatively quick speed. There it goes, and the coach is on the back. And yeah, again, the observation coach you only get if you have the um, <coughs> RHB anniversary collection from the Arosa line. Random bench there, I reckon you probably sit on that. Admire the lake. <coughs> so we've got a 40, then a 30 coming up. Don't know if we are going to be passing any other trains on the journey. One thing though, we've had no announcements so far. I wonder if that's because we've loaded into the service when it's already going. Like I didn't go into the timetable and just click this service, I just sort of spawned into it. I wonder if that's why. Has sort of hasn't activated the announcements. <coughs> that might be a, that might be a bit of a catch with the announcements. It only does it if you load into it directly. <coughs> right, start popping that down. Whoa, that was a bit quick. Brakes are very good. Right, for another station stop, which of course we do not stop at, and then down to 30. What's this one? Ready as a tour. Nice view of the lake though. Imagine that, but imagine having that on your front door. Look at that. So we've gone right around that lake now. Through this fairly sort of major looking, well not major looking station, but important looking station. And a bit of road running I think again. So for the road running, should we put the mirrors out? Yeah, here it is here. Let's, let's do that, there you go. That's for sort of on the road. <coughs> Now we're not. Let's put that back in. There we are. And now it seems to be a bit slower again. So it should be a fairly straightforward run though, because if we are going down here, we've got the cruise control, so that should hold our speed. Should? We'll find out in a minute. Yeah, it just holds our speed, so we don't really need to worry too much. Um about you know speeding obviously keep an eye out but fairly straightforward down one in 22 at the moment <coughs> down one in 14 now which is a very visible to the naked eye gradient look at that oh that car's just appeared out of the blue Down and down and down. Cool. So we are now there. Uh, Toronto is only there now. I suppose it's still quite a way, but we're probably about halfway on this video. Yeah, halfway ish. 20 minutes. Be near one of those distant mountains. Only 7.3 kilometres as well, so what's that? Four miles? So it probably actually is by one of those sort of distant mountains over there, or maybe a bit further around the corner.
I say it's a really nice looking room. Yeah, I think it has exceeded my expectations. Uh, I mean, yeah, I did think it was probably going to be jelly mountains, jelly trees, a bit of jelly, everything like the Erosa line. <clears throat> but as someone, uh, I saw someone in one of the Discord say maybe the Erosa line was just sort of a little bit early. Because <clears throat> that was before we had the LIDAR data, which sort of makes the mountains look really nice. So maybe yeah, Rosa just was a bit early for its time. <clears throat> Whereas if you sort of redid it now, it'd probably look really nice like this. Nice in the snow as well. Although there's one thing about this which I just don't understand why it wasn't put in. The um, snow build up, so when you're doing dynamic weather, it starts snowing, it starts getting higher, 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 and higher quite nicely. A bit quick, but quite nice. On this route, you don't get that. Even though it's a mountain railway, it snows a lot of the time, but you don't have the snow build up, which is a bit like, well, why not? <laughs> Still, uh, still a down one in 14 this is well nice and easy because we've got the cruise control so I think fairly soon we are going to come up to the um, the loop let's have a look on the map yeah well, it's well, not too far away that's where it is there, so that's where we're, that's where we're trying to get the thumbnail. It was like every picture is taken of this route is on that bridge. So what this means is every 14 meters we go forward, we go down by one meter, which is very steep. Extremely steep. And that's why it's narrow gauge, just standard gauge. Just wouldn't be able to make it. We're sort of looping our way around here. I suppose just to try and get that elevation down as quick as we can. Scouring to the side of the uh, side of this hill. Yeah, it does. Like a double yellow there. So we might have to stop at this um, upcoming station. There's another train coming up the line. It is now peak time, I suppose. So there might be uh, more trains about. So we'll put that down. Let's buzz again and again. Right, do we have to stop here? I don't think we do. I'm just going to save it just in case. No, we got a green light. We're all good. This is a blue seal. Right, we're going straight through. I don't know what's going on with the snow there. Right, and down the other side. Which feels quite quick, but it's, it is the speed limit. Since we got a head sway on 200%. <clears throat> Has anyone been on this journey in real life? What is it like? And I can see it. There it is. I think, yeah, that must be it. That is the iconic circle, spiral, viaduct thing. Which does have a name, but I don't know the name. I can't remember the name. But spiral viaduct thingy sounds good. So we'll go with that. So 
like it's fairly impressive, isn't it? I mean, it's not like really, really impressive, but it is still quite cool. Like, it's not like it's on the bridge the whole way round, but it's still quite cool. Just the fact it's like that. Round we go. We'll try and work out where we're going to try and get the screenshot. Would it be better being it off the other side or? Let's try about here. Okay, yeah, that might work. Actually, that's quite nice if we can try and work that out. Best we can. A bit further. There. Don't want the game to crash. As it is good uh, good at doing that in photo mode. Well, I don't like that. I don't know. I mean, it might work, but I'm not a big fan of that. A bit of rotation, maybe. Yeah, that, that might work. None of these bloody poles weren't on this side. Actually, maybe a bit further around. Could see that working all right. Yeah, we go with that. Maybe we'll get another one as well as we go around. One more, one more. Don't crash. Right. Let's move that out a bit. So I want to get like a really close up one, but then you just don't see the back of the train, and it's a bit boring. Look at the gradient though. Eh, I don't know. We'll make something out of it. So there we go though, around there. Back under where we've just been. Some people admiring the. Uh, they're probably a bit chilly, but yeah, he's just in a shirt. Probably a bit chilly, but probably used to it, aren't they? Here in uh, Switzerland. A bit like here in the UK when it's a wet summer or whenever it's raining, we're just out wearing shirts and all the tourists are all. Huddled up in coats and <clears throat> what's that going? On? Oh, some sort of lane going up the side of the uh, mountain there. So we've only got five kilometres now, which if we're going thirty kilometres an hour, is not going to take us too long. Well, thirteen minutes, I'd say. Doing a kilometre should be fairly straightforward, shouldn't it? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, 30 kilometres an hour, so yeah, that won't take us too long. So, yeah, 30 minutes we'll do 15. 15 minutes would we'll do what 7.5. See, so yeah, I mean, it is less than that, so yeah, per perfect. It might go slower at some point, but I doubt it. 30 seems to sort of be the, the average speed limit along here. All the rocks covered in snow. route. Um, I mean, if you're not really too interested in it, just get it on a sale. Um, I wouldn't say this is a route I'm, you know, like, yeah, I'll be playing 24-7 for the next two weeks. No. Yeah, um, so yeah, if you're not really particularly interested in it, 
all your life. Actually, it looks quite good. But not sure. Just wait for a sound. Still down one in fourteen. So we've got look, I mean, look at sort of how deep we are now inside the valley. Feels quite sort of empowering, doesn't it? Sort of the mount so high up, and we're sort of in this deep, deep valley. So yeah, a bit of a V-shaped valley. Work our way all the way down. Ten minutes. Ten minutes to Torano. Now we should be on time. We should be. I was saying it looks like we're getting we we were getting further away then for a second. I think. Oh yeah. Let's sort of swing out a little bit. There it is, then you've got the standard gauge railway here. I don't know where that then takes you to. So we're about to be actually crossing into Italy. Time for Google Maps. Is it literally at Tirano? Is that like on the border? Uh, Tirano. Yeah, alright, yeah, buzz buzz. Uh, Tirano is there. Oh, okay. Mm. Can't be too far away. Right, hang on. Double yellow here, serious. <coughs> so it is once we get well we might see it somewhere, but it's once we get to Campo Cologno, just after that. We cross the border. So that could be the one coming up now actually. Oh that doesn't look nice. Oh no, we're not going in there are we? Just gonna quickly save it. <coughs> No, we're not. So that's not for us. Oh, we're coming across the road here. Look at this. Literally right across the road. So this was probably here before the road was built. So we have priority. Well, that's one of the trails you can go on there. What's this? Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, here we are. This is Campo... This is Campo. So this station is the last one within Switzerland. And not too far down the road we then cross. Well, we should see the border crossing. There's a petrol station just before it. And then we'll be taking our first step into Italy. To Italia. Quite the look at that. What that's all about. Maybe that's from the uh, lakes up the top to get water down. Or some sort of gas pipe. I'm looking out for the petrol station. It said there was a shell garage just before the uh, the border. I want to see it. Will there be like flags or anything? Or is it literally just a, you know, we're in Italy now? Type thing. I mean, that could be it now, actually. Yeah, it. It is, I think. Possibly. I'm trying to work out where we. Yeah, I think we might already be in it, yeah. Well, if we are, welcome to Italy. Right, a bridge going across the uh, river. Oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of already way in it already. Yeah. We've done it, we're in Italy. For just under two kilometres. And that's it.
would have been nice. I don't know, maybe there was, but I don't know if it was like a um, an Italian border sign. Right, this must then be Tirana we're coming into. It must be just quite a big place. I mean, that sort of house is going for to the eye can see. Yeah, nice run. I mean, now we've booked up. Soon to have done the full line. It's not bad. So, do pop your thoughts um, in the comments below. Is it your cup of tea? Oh, hello. We're on the derail now. That won't be any good. Hang on, let's quickly pop the uh, cruise control back up. And pop the dynamics. <coughs> now for the 25. Right, is this the road? Oh, it is. Yeah, here we are. Right, let's get our mirrors out. Yep. Maybe the road's not a 1 in 4. This is 1 in 29 down here. That's not the Pringles one, is it? What's that? Oh, it is, yeah, there you go. Pringles. There's the Pringles um, NPC. I was thinking, that NPC looks a bit out of the blue. Out of the red. Oh, we got 15 coming, that's not nice. I'll slow down to 15. Before we start speeding. What's that all about? 15. It was just like the main square or something, maybe that's why. Probably get another screenshot along sort of through here. Right, they're all waiting for us, that's nice. Yeah, some sort of central square. So a bit that sort of curve through here, I suppose. Look at the mountain though, wow. And I can't see it rendering in either. Like you do when you come into Kerr, you see the massive mountain just rendering in front of you. And it's like, oh. Right. I think it's like an invisible wall there. Right, this could be a nice screenshot. Because where from though? This side? Oh, I don't know. I, I, it's like, nah, I want to get like the whole church in, but unless you sort of get really close, unless you bring the field of view out a bit, nah, nah, I think we'll just stick the ones we got already in, do something, make something out of them, no cars, it'd be a bit silly to drive your car down here. up to 30 and then well then into Toronto and we've done it we've made it haven't derailed yet still time for that different crossing bell as well oh hello oh that doesn't well we don't want to there's still time to spad as well slow that down it's a nasty looking signal that is. I don't know what we would be waiting for, but... Ah, there we go. So there was still time for disaster. Imagine living in a place like this, though. It's on the fresh mountain air every day. These little trains running uh, past your back garden. The tourists looking in. It's quite funny. I think the um, <laughs> the um, Train Sim Classic version of this train it has the Electro Star sounds. 
It's just like the funniest thing when you're running this and you just hear the electro style motors. Pretty certain it does. And it's like, mm, I don't know about that. There's <coughs> another train in there, so I don't know that one's ready to depart once we get in. And yeah, there's a standard gauge railway over there. Which I suppose is probably it's probably still quite steep, but not yeah, quite one in fourteen. Where does it want us to stop? Probably before the points when it's we'll after there'll probably be a shunting move. Yeah, really, really pleasant uh, that was. there you have it that is Tirano and there's yeah there's the uh, standard gauge line it seems to also terminate there as well here we are in the in the hills of Italy and probably down that way is sunshine and permanent holiday um but yeah uh, that is going to be it from me uh, for well the Benina line I'm sure we'll, be, we'll, we'll do some more content on it uh, but that was a full line run hopefully everybody has enjoyed it uh, let's just wait for the debriefing screen to come up. Although, to us, it's not going to be that exciting as we only did half the service. Uh, doors. Yeah, there we go, not too bad. Um, apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Links will be found on the usual places Discord, PayPal, Merch Store, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.